Hi there, and welcome to Revisit to Retro. I'm Johnny, and today we're doing Virtual Racer on the 32X. So, yeah, this is in the Back to the Sega series, so let's just hop right in. Let's just hop right in. There we go. Yikes, this controller's seen better days. Oh, it's gotta be a stock hair. Like me, it's now an old stock hair. So, sweet. Five tracks. Big forest. Yeah, give me back my wheels. We're off. So, yes, this game, I got this game secondhand way back when. There was a, a guy I knew was selling off all his Mega Drive games around 96 or whatever, and so I begged my grandmother to buy them for me, and this is one of them. Of course, oh. At the time, I'd already had like a Ridge Racer net, so I was like, ugh, I thought this was horrible, and then I wanted to give it back. I wanted to ring him and say I didn't want him, but she wouldn't. So, and I'm glad I kept on to now because it is a little piece of gaming history. And yeah, I still look for, for what it is, I think this looks, it looks quite, it's quite an achievement on the old 32X. Of course, you could play this on the regular Mega Drive as well, and I had like, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but they had the special chip in the cartridge. It was like the the FX chip on the SNES, but Sega had their own variant. But that meant that the games cost like like a hundred quid or something because of this chip. So this was the only one they ever made. Music is having a bad, a hard time playing, but sure. So yes. Uh, just smooth pixels with no textures. This was the future back in 1994, you know? Arr. Come on, music. I know you got it in you. <sighs> See, the music glitching just gives it away that this has been emulated. So, yeah, this has been emulated because uh, the Mega Drive looks rubbish when you hook it up to this thing. And I can't actually hook it up to the video capture because it doesn't take aerial, and they're all aerial connectors. So I did play it on my other television, and it looks looks like shite. So I, I am emulating this, and of course the music is spazzing out, so it's given away the fact that I'm emulating it. Not that I'm ashamed of emulating it. It's like. I just uh, like as I said before, I will if I have to, I will emulate, but I won't do a game here that I don't have, because the whole point of me doing this channel is because I want to go back and play all these games that I have, and some of the games I've never like Road Rash Three when I played that, I'd never I had that for years, I'd never played it before. Right, but yeah, how do like it's it's a a nice window into the past, I suppose, of where of like a huge advance like to go from something like Outrun or whatever to this was quite a that was quite a leap forward and you don't really get that anymore it's like going from Forza on the 360 to Forza on the Xbox One like that's not a huge leap you know but you know, what'll be the next big leap? You know? We're like we're, we're on the cusp of photorealism, really. Alright. Oh! Uh, so, yeah, this game it plays really quick. Um, I only have a couple of 32x games, this being one of them. 
but uh, one of I have two Star Wars games. One doesn't work. I have Doom, um, which is really really bad. I have a lot of uh, versions of Doom actually. It's game over. That sucks. It's not as happy as Sega Rally. Game over here. Yeah. I'll be. Nobody ever knew. Big Forest, you suck. Alright, Bay Bridge. We'll be a Formula 1 car this time. Oh, alright, I was pressing the wrong button. Here we go. Bay Bridge. So, yeah, 32Xs. Um, Apparently they're t like I've heard they're tough to get, but I've never had a problem. Like I've I've I have one. I've had one for twenty years now. It's I got one when they started selling them off really really cheap. My dad picked me up one back in like ninety five. I think they they dropped the prices of them. But around that time I was already kind of gearing up for the PlayStation, so I didn't really I had it and I didn't really care about it. But it was a case where like they were selling them off so cheap that I'd get games brought back from town to me. Like you know, they went to game back in the day or some electronic store in town and did like here Star Wars. Like it was like they're selling it for like a tenner or Doom for a tenner. So I had them and I never really played them because I had Doom. I got Doom with my PlayStation as well. So and I had Doom with my PlayStation before I had Doom for this. Oh, jeepers! Oh, you can yes, the views. I forgot about this. Oh. Yeah, you can zoom out into orbit. Look at that. I'd forgotten about that. And you can zoom. I think on... Was this on the Saturn as well? I think you could zoom in further on the Saturn. Oh. Okay, I'm freaking out here with these buttons. Try to get a close-up one. I was never one that loved an old um, first person view in a car a car game. Come on! Okay, I guess it's this for the rest of our lives. Oh, there we go. Just a bit slow on the uptake. So yeah, I said my 32X. Um, I've seen them, I've seen people charging extortionate prices for them online. So like I, I usually go on like uh, secondhand sites around here, so like there's adverts.ie. People selling stuff for crazy prices. Like Sonic 1, rare game, 100 quid, no box. I'm like, are you bloody kidding me? You know, I've got, I've got two, I, got, I still have my own version of Sonic from back in like 1991 or whenever I got it. I still have the box, you know, they're, they're not hard to come by. best people for you to think every old game is worth a fortune when it's not I was at a car boot sale in town last year no it was two years ago and there was a playstation and like it had no box it was just sitting there it was dirty and you know I just I was going to buy it just to, to save it and add to my stack of playstations I have already I clean it up and I just have it and I know I'd have it so it'd be safe but sitting there like not in great nick Probably didn't even work. No cables, and your man is like, "Oh yeah, it's a rare console, ninety quid." I'm like, "You're taking the actual piss out of me, ninety quid." Huh. Right. Sixteenth. I can't remember what it was in the other race, but okay. Acropolis, and we'll do a prototype car in the next race. Then. So yeah, so I didn't buy it off him. I was like, flipping Egypt. I think there was some stat back in the day that per head. Did Ireland have the most PlayStations in the world? Or was it second to Japan, maybe? But per head, we had more PlayStations than anyone in the world, whether first or second in that. Now, I don't know how accurate it is, but I remember reading it. And probably true, because everybody and their grandmother had a PlayStation. Yeah, Ireland was PlayStation country. Oh. 
wow that's that buzzing from the car you get a mental twitch from that it's a real pity that 232x was uh never pushed you can never really see what it could have done like there there was potential in there it was just released at the wrong time or bring it out a year earlier and don't release a Saturn so flipping early and you'd have had a, a nice little bridge there between the two yeah I also have a Mega CD or a Sega CD whatever you want to call it uh, I'll see how that runs if that connects nicely to the Jesus Jenny, keep it on the road man oh the car is getting damaged if that runs um, nicely, I'll see what connectors I have for it. But if it runs nicely, I'll definitely play some Mega CD games. I have Sonic CD and I have Batman, Batman Returns as well. So I'll definitely play some of them. I have a, I have a stack of them inside her. So I'll definitely get some of them up on the channel. And if not, we'll just emulate them like I do. But as I said, I don't emulate games that I have. So. I also had a request as well, which is weird, but somebody said that they'd like this, like, would I play, like, Final Fantasy VII? And, like, I, I, no, I wouldn't, because I, I wasn't, it was never, Final Fantasy VII was never my thing. Like, I had it, I got it when it came out, but just didn't do it for me. Not my style, and I know it might be sacrilege, but, yeah, it just wasn't for me. I was busy with my... My Metal Gear Solids and my my Dooms and what have you. That yeah, it, it just didn't didn't catch me at all. So I never got any. I have them out there, but like I picked them up in bundles. Game over again. Did I finish higher than sixteenth? Hey, sixteenth. So I'm assuming sixteenth is last. All right. All right. We we'll go prototype. To the Highlands. Wow. Jeepers. See, everyone else is driving a prototype car, so. Uh, it's tough to see where you're going. I think if you're watching this video, you'll agree. Oh man, there's parts falling off the car already. Alright, let's try and finish 15th. Just, oh my god, I accidentally hit the view button. <laughs> I had to wait the sound distorts me going to a tunnel. Can I go back down to my car, please? There we go. Alright, we'll finish 15th. That's the goal. Oh man, everyone's miles ahead of me. How did. Oh, I'm crap. So yeah, this is the Highland track. Music just popping in and out. And you're hearing some idiot with his loud exhaust outside my window there, if that came out in the mic. Yeah, he might have a souped up Civic, but is that really better than Virtual racing on the uh, 32x. I think we all know the answer to that. I see, I'm doing really well now. Just need a car to overtake. Oh my god, I'm gonna get left! Ah, sh no! <laughs> oh, oi! Okay, so I'm turd. That's my logic now. I'm turd. I'm fort. Fifth, sixth. So I'm seventh. Oh, there's the music back. Glitch through the track. Four, three. Oh man, so I was overtaken by like 10 cars there, so realistically I finished 26th. 
Hmm. I, I, okay, maybe I can see why I wanted to give this back when I got it. Oh, I, I don't think I want to... I think I'm going to go back to stock here. Oh, went back too far. Stock here it is, and we're going to Sand Park. I wonder what the team of this level will be. It's a bit cheeky to always put me at the, at the end of the pack. Look at this, look, I'm flat out, and they're all just pulling away from me. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I won't be buying the 32x2 when it comes out. Okay. Okay, I'm doing well, doing well. I gotta learn how to break. I'm really getting punished for my my flat out approach. There we go, power slide. Power! I should get nervous now because I'm actually hanging in a, in the pack a lot longer than I'm usually uh, able to. Yes. So yeah, this is my first 32x game I've done on this channel. And won't be the last. I had grandiose ideas. I like the, the Jaguar. I won't emulate the Jaguar. I'll try not to. But I, I might, like, I've ordered a new cable uh, on eBay so I can get it through the RGB. So hopefully, but if that doesn't work, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll see. Let's see. I just I don't want to be emulating everything, you know. I, I try and be as as before. I try and be as authentic as I can. But I'd love to get some Jag games because I have like I have a lot of them. I think I've I've like a third of the, the collection of games that are ever released for it, which isn't impressive because there's only like thirty or sixty of them since the release. So. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm eight. Oh my god. Holy crap. Did you have a strong finish again? Well, I learned my lesson though. For rock and roll racing, I was doing really well. And there's like one more race, and I got absolutely trounced. Alright. There we go. We're going for sixth. Oh, that's just cheating. Just driving through the buildings. Oh, I'm in six. How many laps are there? I'll just keep going forever. Alright. Oh, that's it, and that's that was the end of it. That was that's my podium finish gone. But still though. Seventh out of considering I finished like stone last in every other race. Come on, come on, come on. God damn it, care. Right, no, we're on to seventh, and we're gonna try and get back into sixth. The little bollocks in the other corner, so. Sorry, I'm getting really quiet again now because I'm like determined here to to hang on to what I got and get six back I'm getting a nosebleed from being so high up in the pack come here you fecker you oh you oh back in sixth and it feels good all right so I just need to hold on here until I run out of time Oh man, I'm getting nervous now. Okay, who's next? Fifth. Just around this corner. Do I see him? Is he there? It's kind of hard to make out. For all his glorious pop up. Time is getting short though, I'm 
kind of losing seconds every time I get there. Like a pro. You see, I'm just going to say that when I'm talking and recording, oh, my PC just started up by itself back there. That's weird. When I'm talking and recording, I'm not concentrating, so that's why I'm, I, I crash and drifting. So that's my excuse. And I'm going to stick to it. Come here to me, fifth. Come on. Come on. Oh no, that's it. And I'm out of time. No, time bonus. That's very close this to fifth there as well. We just got the electric meter in, so you top up your electricity. So these two PCs running can't be good. What was he not to no one? We'll just blame it on the kettle. Boom! Six. I'm chuffed with that. Anyway. Let's see what we got going on here. It would be E. I bet the fastest lap. Sweet. Anyway, that was virtual Sorry, someone cut me out there. That was virtual racing on the 32X and I'll never play it again, but it was a nice little window into the past and I finished sixth. So that's that's all. So thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give now a like and subscribe. And you can check out more of our stuff. We have dozens of more videos there. So you can pop over to Twitter and leave a tweet and follow us on Twitter. And we also got a Facebook page. So there's like links on our main page on YouTube. Link to all this. So thanks for watching. Uh, I was Johnny and I'll see you again soon. Bye.